my own personal shtick is is that uh, my my girlfriend is uh, disabled. She was in a car accident six years ago, and um, she lost her leg. And as a result, I'm, I'm very very aware of disabled issues in in Whiz Beach, where we live, um, where there's a over a period of time, all of our um, public so all the shops have migrated to the outskirts of town, which um, you know for for people who are less abled, you can be living instead of living let's say a maximum of a mile away from the town center you can be living like three to four miles away from from those areas which if you're old disabled whatever it, it's not a possible distance to walk and being rural there's no bus services i mean we live in a town with although it's thirty thousand people there's no train service um so there's the only bus services is that if you want to go to the center of town and go to king's lynn or peterborough that's it if you want to go to visit the actual shops where people shop then walk but there's not even proper roads, you know, proper pavements, because it's all designed for commuters. It's all designed for people in cars. So, you know, from a from a personal perspective, I'd like to see our council give proper transport to people, uh, you know, at a either zero or very low cost, so that you know the people who need it can can get transported to the outskirts of town and do the shopping in Tesco's and in you know sports direct and all these other out of town places because let's be fair they've destroyed you know the center of towns yeah so that's it i'll let um I'll, i don't want to take up too much time so i'll, I'll throw it back <laughs>